What's poppin' YouTube? It's SoFloetry here, and I'm finally back for another YouTube video. So for the last few months, a lot of my followers on Instagram, um, Twitter, and YouTube have been asking me, like, yo, who does your makeup? What kind of products do you use? Um, how do you use it? Where do you use it for your skin tone, your face shape? Um, different styles and everything that has inspired me as far as makeup. Um, all those questions are going to be answered and you're going to get to see my everyday routine, whether it's for school or something business, just anything and everything, the generalized makeup routine. So stay tuned if you're interested in watching this video and make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. As a side note, I did want to make a point to say that I am repping my unorthodox tie-dye hoodie, yo. This is the baddest LGBT brand in the game right now, so you are sleeping if you do not go and get you a hoodie, you do not go and get you a shirt, tag them as well. So uh, I did want to mention that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, first order of business, you want to make sure that your face is moisturized with a non-scented lotion. We're going to start off with a red color corrector under the eyes and any other dark spots to go ahead and cover it. And then the next product that we're going to be using on our face is foundation to cover up the color corrector, which is Kat Von D's Lock It Tattoo Foundation. My shade is medium 62, if anyone's wondering. And I get these products from Sephora. And you wanna put that all over your face with, uh, I'm using a Morphe brush here to apply foundation. Next we have the LA Girl in um, Ivory and Creamy Beige. And I'm using that light ivory under my eyes to start by highlighting under my eyes. It's a great highlighter, inexpensive, and it applies on very easily, actually. And I'm putting it under my eyes, down my nose, uh, above my upper lip, bottom of my chin, and forehead. And next, we're going to be using um, Chestnut. Chestnut is also by LA Girl to contour, um, add that contrast on the forehead and on the cheekbones and of course um, on the sides of the bridge of the nose and going on down from that. And I blend, blend, blend of course with another Morphe brush. I have the entire set. Uh, I got it for Christmas ironically. I'm just gonna blend again and that second brush that you saw there was um, just a, a brush that I found, drugstore brush. And we're blending the highlight. I don't like using beauty blenders, so. And now we're applying that uh, chestnut down the other sides of the bridge. Just to make sure, you know, everything is nice and um, structured gives off that structured look. Because my face has um, that Pacific Islander, that Asian Asian features, you wanna make them a little bit harsher, I guess, for my face, of course. My face, uh, face shape. And we're blending, and we're blending with another Morphe Kabuki brush. Blending, blending, blending. And that should be what the blend looks like and now I'm wiping off the excess foundation off my lips because I'm getting ready to moisturize the uh, wipes that I've been using I got from Ross now this is the blush I like to put blush on as you can see I didn't set it with a powder it gives a more nice matte look to me personally um, I do like using Bid Nye Banana Powder if I do, but this time I didn't use it. And I'm blending this. I don't know where I got this blush from, but I really like it. And I'm blending with Mary Kay in Hot Brushes. Next, we're using Chestnut Lip Liner um, by MAC. And we're using Aquaphor to moisturize. It's a healing ointment and it comes in a form of a balm. So I'm just using that all over my lips and blending with the lip liner. And um, usually I do this, but I was provided some dope makeup products by Quesada Cosmetics. 
and you're getting ready to see the color fawn it's a matte lipstick and I'm applying that all over my lips um, usually I don't use lipsticks but because they were so nice and kind to send me this I said why not and it was popping to be honest with you Now I'm going back over the eyebrows. I previously did my eyebrows before the video, but I'm gonna have another video to show how I do my eyebrows from beginning to end. And I'm just filling them back in because they got a little dusty on us while we were doing, you know, the foundation and everything. And as you can see, this uh, elf brush is what I'm being, what I'm using to do the brows and the. Anastasia Pomade is in the shade of Ebony. Just taking my time. Next, highlight. Highlight is one of my favorite parts uh, of the makeup routine, I guess you'd say. I'm using Fenty in the color Trippin Matchstick that you can get from Sephora on the cheekbones, down the nose, and the chin. And I use my fingers to blend this, so you'll be seeing that I don't like to use any type of uh, brushes to blend this, just my fingers to kind of melt, I guess, the product into my skin. And it just heats it up a little bit and makes it easier to move. And then I'm going over the Fenty with a Ruby, I think it's Ruby Kisses fan brush and Ruby Kisses All Night Glow. It's like a gold deposit by MAC dupe. And I'm just going all the way down my nose. And this is my favorite highlighter, Becca Champagne. Um, Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics. And I'm going over the two highlighters that was pre previously used. I love, I love, love, love this because you can, you know, I like to be just shining. You can see that from a mile away. So that's why I like to use three different highlighters. Yes, I use these every single day. And then I'm going to use this highlighter and use it under my brow bone to brighten up under my eyebrows. And using an angled brush to go down by iBeauty Cosmetics. And of course another Morphe brush to blend underneath the brows. Nice little highlight under there. And then I'm blending it along with the contour and voila. I'm going to take that champagne pop and put it right underneath my eyebrow bone. To make it pop, blending it a little bit with the brush and then mascara. And this is um, Maybelline, the falsies. Oh, got it on my face. And now, I'm going to blend this highlight. I just found this brush somewhere. And finally, now we're going to be doing the lashes. These were beautiful lashes. You guys should definitely should go check out Quesada Cosmetics uh, by Glorianne and pick up a pair. And I'm using the Duo, of course as my choice of glue for the lashes and I dropped it <laughs> they definitely brighten up my eyes and give more of a dramatic effect and that is all so that is it for the makeup tutorial everyday routine um if you guys have any questions comments concerns please drop them below send them to my inbox email them whatever you feel me but um i do want to take a moment to shout out the company 
Um, even though that the makeup products that I've used today will be listed below, I do want to say thank you to Quesada by Passion by Glory Ann for the lashes. And also the color of the lipstick shade, which was very new, was also by them um, in the shade, I mean, not shade, but in the color Fawn. So it's Fawn, like F-A-W-N, Fawn. But hey, everything will be down below. Um, so make sure that you rate, comment, subscribe, and link other people to watch this video as well. If you have any other requests, any other just makeup ideas that you think I should try, definitely send me a message and I will definitely try to put that on the list. So thank you for watching and always remember to stay golden.